you think defenseman Victor Mete will have a place on the Canadians next season? Uh, well, I think it's going to be tough. There's a, there's a few holes there, uh, fourth, fifth, sixth position defensemen. Um, I think they're going to entertain the thought about maybe bringing Scandella back. There's uh, Romanoff is in the picture as a, a possibility. So there's, there's quite a bit of gray area as far as who's going to fill those roles. They, they've got the guys up from Laval now that are trying to do the job, which I personally don't think are doing the job, but they're, uh, they're going to have to make some decisions on, uh, on, on those guys that are in their system right now to see who's going to be able to, uh, to find a job. Mete, uh, he'll have his hands full trying to, uh, you know, to, to get his spot back. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, Mete's shown he can play in the NHL. I mean, he's not a top pairing defenseman when they had him with uh, Shea Weber because they had nobody else to, to play there. Uh, but if he doesn't have a future with the Canadians, I'm sure he'll have a future somewhere else. I'm sure there's other teams that will take him. Uh, the one defenseman I'm interested in watching come up is Jordan Harris. A uh, U.S. college kid who was uh, the second or third round pick by the Canadians, and I mean the evaluation camp two years ago, he really, really, really impressed me. And I think that's a kid coming up that we need to watch. He's a little bit bigger than Mete. He has a similar style, same skating style. He moves the puck well. Uh, so the competition is going to be there. I mean, Juleson, we don't know what's going to happen with him moving forward. Is he eventually going to be healthy? You certainly hope so for that kid. So yeah, it's going to be tough for Victor Mete. But uh, if if there's not a spot for him in the Canadians. He's going to play somewhere else in the NHL. I think he's proven that he can play at this level. And I think that's a good thing for the Canadians organization to not just have defensemen because you have no one else to sort of play those roles, that you're actually going to have competition. You'll have a guy like Victor Mete, who has a few years of NHL experience under his belt, needing to work that much harder to make sure that any of the young guys don't take his spot. And so I think it's a little bit too early to, to tell because there's going to be some question marks with uh, some other players coming in wanting to make their NHL debut with the Habs. All right, you can go to HockeyInsideOut.com now and check out this week's full episode.